One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, there is a fair bit of rust. No, I don't have another one if you're gonna ask me. What you're gonna see is the last of the Chocolate Sharon. End of an era, but we're not going out. Nothing can stop us selling, mate. We've got our allies from the south. We're not flipping for the money, we're flipping for what watch you want. We're rolling, baby. Right guys, another day, another delivery. So let's see what we've got inside. Make sure you've got to be careful when you open these parcels. Don't want to damage the goods inside. So look, what do we have here today? Ooh. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six and a pin. Six new arrivals today. So I will log these in. So it just gives you a gauge of how many watches we buy and sell on average per day. Uh, this will be a date just range. So I know I've got a wide variety of different color dials, factory set with all box and papers. Stay tuned guys, maybe later on in this episode, I'll explain exactly what I got in today and the prices if you're interested. So the 26 mils and 36 mils parcel might not be as eye-catching as some of you like to see. However, for us, it's our bread and butter. Uh, they are cheap and cheerful stock. I have 26 mils ranging from four grand. I have 36 mils from 6K. So for anyone who's got a budget under 8K, they're the perfect, perfect watch. So we always tend to have a lot, a lot of these in stock. What's the problem? Water. Water. Uh, all right, cool. Leave it with me. Okay, darling. And I will get it uh, looked at ASAP for you and then keep you updated. So that was my girl Deja, has just come in. She brought her Datejust 36 mil, uh, of which she obviously bought from us. Um, I think she's been in the water and left the crown open. So I'm just gonna give it a little inspection myself, just to see how bad the damage is, if there is any. As you can see, there is a fair bit of rust uh, occurring in the in the movement already. So I'm gonna have to get this up to my watchmaker ASAP, just so he can get it looked at and clean it all out for me. And hopefully there's no uh, other uh, parts that are damaged uh, that maybe need replacing that will cost her money. We will get it fixed for her because we can fix anything here. But yeah, not looking too, too great at the moment. So that was Deja's watch aka the pimple popper on tiktok if you haven't already check her out not if you if you're not into that sort of stuff but um she brought a 36 mil from us uh, unfortunately has gone into the water and the winder has been open and the water has seeped inside uh, luckily she got it to us fairly quick so as you can see the rust isn't too bad i'm not sure if you remember the orange cartier we had I'll put it there for you. But that was left too long and, it, and, it, and the whole face went kind of orange color from rust. So she's got it to us quick uh, and hopefully keeps the cost down uh, when we are quoting her. Uh, still on Rose root beer, still on Rose. So I'll show you once we sort it all out. Yeah. Right, let's that in now. Um, yeah, so do you wanna, who's on the Instagram? Anyone on the Instagram? Go on, I'll, I'll do it. The lady's just about to message us once we load it up, we need to buy it in. Another GMT. Not a, not a Batman this time though. This time a root beer. We actually need a root beer to be fair. So it's come at a good time. So guys, we just purchased a pre-owned root beer. Condition's nice. It's probably a link short, but I've got a link there, but it's missing the pin. Let's go and buy a pin. Uh, it comes complete with box and papers dated 2019. This will be available once we have it serviced and polished. Another good start, another good day. Another GMT. Next up guys is a collection of this Still and Gold Ladies Non-Date with a factory grey silver dial. This watch came complete with box and paperwork. 
we managed to sell it for three thousand five hundred pounds so i believe that's a great deal for the customer because that is extremely cheap to find a watch with box and papers look at the condition as well three and a half thousand pound we sold that watch for no i don't have another one if you're going to ask me so when these deals do get put online on instagram you need to snap them up put a small deposit and secure that watch because it is highly unlikely we're going to find another deal like that for a few months Thanks for coming down, man. No problem. Appreciate the journey. And yeah, let me know about the. the yeah, we'll order. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I do want one of the for the summer. So. That in here. We've got you on Instagram, so it's not a problem. Um, that's Cheers, it, bro. Thanks. Cheers, bro. 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 Cheers, These ones are going. They go into a new home, a new owner, where they'll be loved and appreciated. Not that they're not loved and appreciated here, but try as a chain for me. Right. Advise anyone that buys frames not to double stitch because um, they're a right. nightmare. Got it. Got it! Oh my god! Mm. <sighs> Staffy, lovely fella, buy it all over the gas. Oh, Hulk. We were empty. We had, the, we had this, uh, all the units dismantled and taken around on Saturday. Wow, look. That's what Venetia in, Venetia in, oh, the Venetian plaster stops. Yeah. No, we're not going anywhere. We're still staying in the office, but we just, uh, we're just going to spice it up a little bit. You know, we're in retail, so we need to keep everything fresh and new. And, you know, we've got some jewellery bits and pieces that we're going to display as well. So you'll see a nice jewellery display wall as well. Uh, the, Venetian, the Venetian plaster is going. I all night. Design, this wall design going in. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really excited to see it. The new counters and the flooring, and it'd be really, really nice. I'm actually excited to see it. I hope it comes out as we've designed and discussed. But uh, yeah, exciting, exciting times. But I mean, look at it. I mean, it's bad time. Look, look at the floor. <laughs> I promise you that wasn't actually that bad. I feel like, Mike, you might have spilt something on the weekend. End of an era, but we're not going nowhere, so don't, no one panic. We're just. Uh, we're upgrading in the world. Slightly emotional guys today. As you know, that me, Alex and Callum, we've done this showroom by scratch about three years ago, or more or less three years ago to the date. We've ripped it out. It means progression. It means we've been doing well, we've been working hard. Onwards and upwards. Bring on this new showroom, a bosh. Uh, fucking give him a job if you want, boys. Fucking hell, what are they going over there? Super good. Um, Cal, give me like the 36 mil trays out. That's the only thing with the older Jubilee yeah. ones, yeah. There'll be a, there'll be a lot more room oh, because they're, they're more used. They're old, they I straight know, yeah. Same sort of yeah, condition yeah. on the bracelet. Yeah. It's a bit better, A little bit yeah, better yeah, yeah, in terms of yeah. the sag and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing can stop us selling, mate. Uh, it's a year 2000, old class. Gentlemen, you picked up a still and gold 36 mil factory diamond dial, lovely watch. It was a year 2000, so it was slightly newer on the diamond dial. Uh, for those of you who know, the older shapes usually have like the smaller squares. That one was the larger one. Uh, so it's like the transition year, but without being the concealed model. Um, happy customer, returning customer. Um, and we're always trading, always trading, Mikey. We're always making it happen, baby. So this is the classic fusion with the olive green dial and the green alligator band, in my eyes, is stunning, which got here in the weekend. There's a little bit, people will like, often completely hate on Hulot's, but I love them, I honestly, like the Fusion, the Big Bang, I, I, think, they're, I think they're such a nice watch, I really do. But open back, they're proper nice guys. What you're gonna see is the last of the Trotter showroom. So I've looked pan round, so, Epic's gone, the old counters are gone, the flooring's gone. 
this gone. All the TV cameras gone. All the walls are going. It's completely, completely ripped out and redone. But a big shout out to Nicholas Interiors. You can see their Instagram here. They're the best in the business for any watch and jewelry kit out, shop fitting. Um, hit them up. They're good as gold. Cracking on the shot eye, flying on the DMs, got a lot of DMs to answer, so we're scrolling through, uh, making sure everything is answered. If you're interested in watches, jewellery, rings, everything, all in one location, we are working from 67 Bouncers Road. I'll put the address here for you guys. It's the North London branch, come down and see us. We've been invaded, we've got our allies from the south, namely the boys from the penthouse in with us this week. It'll be fun, it'll be interesting, there's going to be a lot of us in here. We're a good team though, we'll make it work. Can't wash a load of bollocks out of <laughs> Man in the back, go out the door as soon as the boys land. So we're rolling, baby. So that's two down, four to go. We're getting through the Batmans as we always knew. They're good shot to have. Uh, they're always going to be able to sell. Just sold an Oyster one and a Jubilee one. Uh, so I still have two Oysters and two Jubilees left. So hit me up if you're interested. It feels different, it feels good. Uh, nothing new, you know. Back to the serving the old gold, the pendants. Obviously, what we know and what we love about watches. So, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Nice to be back working a bit of gold. Feels like Bethlehem Green Days. It's pretty. Just stumbled, just stumbled across this, which uh, the Edmonton store have in stock. Absolutely stunning. Single stone. Little cute necklace, FVS1. That is absolutely stunning. Certified single stone at the bottom. Right, you make anyone happy with that? That is a beautiful, beautiful little necklace. Available today in Edmonton, £8,500. How's it going guys? So we got a comment on the last video from Aaron who wanted to see some more men's wedding bands. So this is what I'm here to show you today. So when people think about people getting married, they always think about the woman and the engagement ring and the diamond web band. But what about the men? So this little box we've got here, these are not actually gold, platinum or any precious metals. These are actually made of titanium. Something more commonly in old people's hips maybe. But these are very lightweight. These are just sampled. There's so many different versions of wedding rings out there. Of course you have, say, flat, whole D shape, we'll go through that a little bit more. And then obviously whips and then finger sizes, it's not possible to stock every ring, otherwise it'd just be a wedding ring shop. This uh, sample set is really good that you can say, right, I'm not sure what I want, whether I want a flat one, three mil, four mil, and then these are all then just obviously the different whips that we can get you. So you can try them on, see what they look like on your finger. So then we have the three main styles, which is D shape, Cool, and then flat. So flat, often some people just say they look like sort of a, a washer. It's just a flat edge, flat sides, a little bit of rounded on the inside for comfort. They are very popular. I feel like they was probably more popular. Cartier released the Love Collection, which is the screw ring, which is essentially a flat wed band with little screw marks in, which I think has definitely increased popularity back before the flat wed bands. The most popular would be cool and D-shape. Very, very similar. One's just very flat on the inside edge, a bit that sits against your skin. The other one's got a little bit more of a rounded edge for it, but that'll be these ones. So these ones are typically kind of what you'd see maybe on Lord of the Rings, something like that. Plain gold band. All right, so if I turn this around so I can see the ones at the top a little bit easier. I've gone through the main ones, cool, D-shape, and flat. Then there's also different styles you can get, which will be, this is a flat again, but it's all three colors squashed together. So if you want any people to on the side, see if you don't know whether you want yellow, white or rose, this one's probably perfect for you. Finally, what you tend to get is a finish. So you get mirror finish, which is the very nice shiny, shiny. And then you get a matted finish or satin finish as some people call it. So most rings will come in both of these. You can choose what you want. So with this set, any of the rings you see are available in yellow, white or rose gold or platinum. You can go for a cool shape, 4 mil with a mirrored finish or a satin finish. You can go for it in platinum, yellow gold, whatever you like. So any of these are available. This is just a nice little set, especially if someone comes in so they're not sure. Because believe it or not, one millimeter can make quite a big difference between rings. So if you've got a five mil and a four mil, five mil might overwhelm your finger and be quite thick, whereas a four mil might be just right. So 
if you are not sure, you can always pop in, try a few on and see what ones work best for you. So hopefully that was a nice little informative section for you. Obviously, as you can see, we read the comments. So if there's anything you want to see in next week's episode, drop us a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and get the bell on. I mean, I would say, obviously the sub, that's the best sub for that money. I've got I've got older subs than that if you wanted to not spend as much. But like, that's that's the best one for like what you're getting, in my opinion. Other than, other than that, you're going to be getting the old bezel. Yeah. Which is that's the ceramic one, do you know what I mean? Uh, you can get like the Yacht Masters, these are under, yeah. Yeah. if you like them. So I've got a 2010 one that I can do for 9.5. Can I see that as well? Under 10, yeah, we're talking five, five, other than the sub. Under 11. Under 11, sorry. Yeah, I'll put all, I'll put all the options on here for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, no, give me a sub. Like so you got a sub, that just two, the grey yacht, GMT, I sent you that, I don't know if you want to do that. That's 10.5, GMT. All right, I think that's them then. Out of them. The yacht, be 9.5, man. It's cheap, 2010. What are you saying, between the sub and the yacht? Yeah, 100%, that's what I think. This was 2017. 2017, 11, 11 bags, I'll say I'll do it for you. Box and papers. And then the, the platinum yacht 95 2010. Do you, have, do you have a coin in here? <laughs> Who's got a coin? Any coins? Oh yeah. There. Alright. <laughs> what are you flipping on it? Yeah. What are you going? Heads for heads for what? <laughs> we're not flipping them for the money. We're flipping for what? What do you want? What was that? Yeah. Yeah. Fate has spoken. He fits heads for the yacht, towels for the sub, land on towels. Mate, make sure you're getting it though. Like, make sure you're getting the one you love, innit? Yeah, yeah. Have a think on it. Yeah. It's the first time we Turn of events, we've now gone for the yacht. <laughs> yeah, he's coming back for the sub next week, so all good. 2010 Yacht Master, classic shape. My first watch. That's actually the same for you. My first ever watch, I bought one of these. 2010, I paid four grand for it. That actually was my first watch, Harrods Papers. Sick watch. Oh, oh crazy, yeah. Guys, day three at the penthouse. You can see the boys from Nicholas Interiors working hard, cutting shit, do what they do. And uh, our new walls have gone up. That's our newer lounge over there i don't want to show too much but it's all happening a big shout out to Dick's interiors you'll see on their instagram here clicking them call them they'll come see you and sort it out they're good man so i've just brought in two lovely lovely new arrivals these are both uh beautiful watches they come complete sets with the original boxes as you can see uh first up we have a real oak offshore the rubber bezel uh, this one comes with the box and the papers. Lovely watch, uh, very, very good condition uh, considering the year. It's undated papers, but the year is gonna be approximately a 2010 to 12. Um, that's available today. If you're interested on that, hit me up. We also have in a Steel Daytona 116520. So it's the pre-ceramic Daytona, black dial. Again, this one comes with a paperwork as it is a 2005. Very fresh, it's sharp on the, on the case, it's sharp on the, uh, on the bracelet. We're unsure whether to polish this one yet as we might leave it uh, sort of in the old condition that it's in. Again, comes with the original box as well with the original swing tags, which is lovely as well for any collector out there. 2005, this one is. Um, so if anyone is out there interested in either or, the pieces I've just bought, please drop me a DM. Uh, they're both available on their own, or they're both available as a set. Maybe someone out there does want both of them. Uh, they were passed down to our client um, through a family member, so there's a good chance there's only sort of one owner of these models. Um, but yeah, hit me up. So as you guys can see, it's been a hectic, hectic week for us uh, in terms of moving uh, over to North London temporarily for the week. Uh, it's been sort of, you know, adventurous coming over here uh, trying to tell people on Instagram that we're based here for the next seven days only so as you can imagine we've been juggling a few things um, but yeah all in all been an okay week uh, 
the, the highlight for me would probably be what you've just seen, the two watches we bought in, two lovely watches. Uh, you know, great, great to see the two watches in great condition with the full sets. Um, but yeah, can't wait to show you guys the new showroom. So the next episode, we will be revealing it. Stay tuned. Well, uh, oh, fuck. That fucking thing's shot. So just had two lovely new arrivals. I'm sorry. No one's action.